up, everyone? I'm Caden. And I'm Noah. And we are back with yet another video on the road. And we're at 19, baby. 19 views yep, yep. on TikTok. Every, That's going <laughs> to... Everything's going big. We got a video with over 24,000 views. 1K. Uh, things are starting to skyrocket for us. And we just watched yet another movie. Yeah. At Regal. Yeah. The number one movie theater in the world. Yeah. We watched Snack Shack. Snack Shack, baby. It and is uh, Republic Films. It's from the producers of American Fiction. Oh, yeah. They did their self justice. Clapping right now. Let's clap. And, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Who should go first? Should I start first? Sure. Can you start first? So, this <laughs> movie was outstanding. I. Oh, like gosh. I told, like I told Noah, I could have sat there. This movie was six, six hours. or this movie was, was two hours. About I could have sat there for six hours and watched this. This could have kept going for sure for two, three, maybe four more hours. Oh my gosh! That and was I great. would have been glued to the seat still. This was. It could have been a TV show. Yeah. To be this, this thing was funny. This thing was emotional. Oh my gosh! It, there's just so much to it, and the acting was outstanding. Uh, the, the actors, as we all probably can tell, for those that saw this, they were playing fourteen and fifteen year olds. But they're a high age limit. They were they were the over over the age of either drinking or just eighteen year olds. Well, and I the the, the, the awesome thing though was I felt like the acting for the age that they were given was amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm annoyed at myself because I can't remember. I know there's Connor Sherry was one of the boys and then I can't remember the other guy's name. I know he plays Sammy Fableman mm -hmm. in the Fablemans. Both of them outstanding jobs. Uh, yeah, th this, this movie was an easy 10 out of 10. I feel like it's going to go down as a classic yeah for the comedy genre slapstick actually <clears throat> and yeah you got your com you got your classics back with dumb and dumber mm -hmm. and grown-ups and happy gilmore and the this list is, goes on this is this is up there this is a modern this is our modern day gen z mm -hmm. class yeah. <laughs> Unfor unfortunately gen z so that's what i gotta say about it not much else 10 out of 10 this is going to be in my top 10 movies for, for a long time for this year. <clears throat> All right. It's my turn. You know, it's my turn. My, uh, at first I had to convince Caden to go to this because yesterday we went to a, you know, a mystery movie. Like, you know, we love our mystery movies. And then I was like, this, what movie can we go next? We were scrolling, scrolling. Snack Shack. Okay, Snack Shack. At first, he was like, I don't know if I should go. Should I go? No. Should I? No. I don't. I don't know. But to be honest, was it worth going? Well worth it. Well worth it. So first of all, no no spoiler alerts at all because this movie you can't spoil this for anybody. And if people are doing that, that would drive me nuts because this movie deserves an Oscar. Such a great movie. Well, not a, maybe, <laughs> uh, maybe not an Oscar, but it's an award winning. It's award winning. Okay, there it is. But um, it was okay. It was a slapstick. It was, it was base. Okay, it was comedy. There was drama. There was tear shedding. I can't tell you what the tears were. I don't. I can't say yeah. if it was happy, sad, whatever. You just gotta watch it. Yes, it's rated R. Don't bring your kids. Stupid idea. It's the best. I'm not even joking. It was funny throughout the whole time and until it wasn't. And then, gosh, <laughs> that's a 10 out of 10. Well done. And I thought, man, how are they going, uh, you know, since, what is it? The American Society? Oh, American Fiction. Oh, no, American Fiction. Uh, my bad. Um, I thought they're like, how can they actually, you know, go up to 
their movie because their movie was great. Yeah, and it won but, the Oscars. Yeah, it won the Oscars. So but trying this, to up that. this actually, I think, in my opinion, this one trumped it. I think T Street has two bangers. Really? What was the first one? Well, American Fiction. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now of course. Snack Shack. Oh my gosh. And I hope they continue. They to... they should because they're on the road for success, and I mean success. Watch out, Disney. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> They're coming for you. But yeah, this was oh my wow. Gosh, I love this one. It, I want to watch this twenty more times. And their budget? Four, can we four point five million for this movie? Well, and you want to know? You want to know the budget for uh, Ant Man mean? and the Wasp: Quantum Mania? Oh my gosh, no! Three hundred and eighty-seven million dollars. What? And that was trash. They, that was a trash film. They could have made a hundred, like a hundred of these. Oh my the gosh! One Quantum Mania. Point to Blink Street. <laughs> Ninety-nine to zero. <laughs> Let's go. But yeah, ah, I, such a good movie. <clears throat> I can't ten wait. Out of ten. I can't wait to watch this again. Yeah, I'm gonna watch this I again. I'm wait. buying this on wait. DVD. Yeah, to buy it. Blu-ray? Oh, half speed. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I need this poster in my life. And did you see the poster? No. The poster even is... Is, is it amazing. really good? I'll have to show it to you. Oh my gosh. If you guys haven't seen it, you'll actually see it because there we're it is. Gonna, on, we're we're going to put it on our, you know, our TV talk and in our uh, you guys have YouTube been pages. <laughs> oh but, my gosh. Yeah, that, ah! was, that was great. I have no other words. Yeah, it was on... Ah. So, that'll do it. Yeah! We will see you guys in the next video. Next video. Make sure to like. Subscribe. And follow us for more. We're on the road to 25. 25. Come on. And followers. So that'll do it.